that. Uh, they've been around now since 1995. There's two books here which aren't shown, The Mayan Prophecies and the Super Gods, but they're out of print and they're not available. All of the others were published by the Americans, so they're still in print. I can't t show you, unfortunately, the pictures of uh, Jesus and King Arthur and all the rest of it because we've got no time left. If, if I hadn't had the problems with the, with the equipment, I could have got up to Jesus and the Holy Grail, which is... Uh, a wonderful story. The Holy Grail is alive and well in, in Ireland. It's there. There's no question about it. The same energy, the godly energy that produced everything that you've seen, produced the Holy Grail. And it's a story that's it's worth reading. You can get all of the books off the internet, Amazon.com. Just look up my name and it'll come up with all of the books. And it's, uh, it's, it's wonderful. One of the problems with having a short lecture is this. If I give a 16-hour lecture... There are no questions. If I give a four-hour lecture, there are seven days' questions. If I give an eight-day lecture, there are three and a half days' questions. If I give a 12-hour lecture, there's just two of questions. And right now, you're going to have a lot of questions because I'm not even halfway through the overheads. And this is a reduction of what I normally have. So it's very difficult to explain this stuff. Uh, one thing's for sure, you were meant to be here this morning and you were meant to see this. I just think it's a great shame that you can't see all of it because it, it's just beautiful. And uh, there's no question that uh, we've all been here many, many times before. We have many incarnations. And Jesus' Jesus's story was very simple. Love your neighbor and you'll go to heaven. If we love each other, the voltage inside gets bigger and bigger and bigger. We get a halo and eventually, the halo is so powerful it will escape the Earth's gravity and go back to God who is light. It will become God again. But it's very difficult because everything we see around us is illusion, maya. That's what the word means. We think we see individuals when we're actually all the same person. We're here to love each other. As long as we love each other, the voltage gets greater and greater and greater. And eventually, we become light beings. Now... Once you start to understand all this stuff, you'll understand, because this is a UFO conference, it's very interesting, because not only are you open-minded, but you'll understand what UFOs are, why we have them. All of this information comes together, and it all starts to make sense. But the, the bottom line is that you are all God inside. We all have a soul. The body is the devil, 666. Uh, we're made of carbon, the carbon atom which has six electrons, six protons, six neutrons. We're the body. The physical earth is made out of 666. God, the soul around us, is 144,000. And that's the speed of light. I haven't got time to tell you that, but that's the speed of light. Uh, you need to read Bruce Cathy's books. And I suppose, being a ufologist, you'll have heard Bruce Cathy, who does a lot of stuff on UFOs. Uh, but all I can say is, have, have a look at the books. They're all published by American publishers, Inner Traditions. They're all on the web. Uh, have, I, I've tried to make them stand alone because the Celtic Chronicles, which was the last one to come out last summer, is all about the Celtic people who had exactly the same beliefs as the Egyptians, who had exactly the same beliefs as the Incas, who had exactly the same beliefs as the ancient Chinese. And they, were, they had the same beliefs because Jesus has been back to earth many times as different leaders. It's the same guy. And we, we can prove this as the lecture goes on, that he must have been the same guy. But for now, I'm afraid we're out of time. Uh, you know, so, I'm sorry.